Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Budgets. If you are new here, welcome. So for this video, I, I wanted to go over some expenses that I use on my weekend trip last weekend and also um, to look into some of the challenges um, that I had created before. So let's go ahead and look into this and i know that i didn't do this in my previous video only because i did not want that video to go longer than necessary all right so i have broken down um my activities according to the date and basically i will be filling in the amounts as i go along in the video and then we will be totaling it all up all right, so first off, we are going to be starting on the 16th of September. So I grabbed my way to the train station. It's pretty near to my house. It's just like probably 10 minutes away. And this came to 10 ringgit. And then I took the MRT once I arrived at the train station I took the MRT to my cousin's place which was about oh I can't even remember now I think I'm gonna put it at three ringgit because I'm gonna round that up and then uh, my nephew came and picked me up and I went over to her house so the MRT to my cousin's place is really cheap because I only realized that it was only four stations away. So that was really convenient. Then on the 17th, which was a Sunday, I took a grab to the shopping mall. And this grab actually cost around eight ringgit, but I did pay 10 with tips. And then um, I had lunch at Madame Kwan's with my ex-colleague and Madame Kwan's cost 52 ringgit and 50 cents per person. So we actually did share some food so we kind of like just split the bill in half. And then I grabbed my way back and this was um, 10. It was actually raining and then on the 18th which is the monday that i had my medical checkup the reason why i had this trip so i took the mrt to the hospital so my cousin's office is actually opposite from the um general hospital which is in the city and so i followed her in her car all the way up to her office and then i took the mrt which goes on the opposite direction so i only had one stop to make and this one was kind of like it was if i'm not mistaken it was like two something but i'm just gonna round it up to three which is kind of expensive for one stop but i remember looking down and seeing like two something being deducted from my um transportation card so because I work in a private um, company, my registration checkup is five ringgit. So I'm just gonna pull that here. And then I had to do a very, uh, a very minor procedure, uh, which only cost me 13 ringgit. So that's the beauty of going to a government hospital. Everything is just so cheap. And even if there are some surprises, like I didn't even know that I had to pay for this. Um, it's not that much anyway so yeah that was 13 ringgit and then after my medical check I took a grab to the train station because at that time I was already exhausted um, it was a very long morning my appointment was down for 8 o'clock but I only saw the doctor around 11 30 and then we had the minor procedure thing going on for the test and so I was just exhausted at that time so I grabbed my way to the train station and that cost me 20 
And then when I arrived, um, I was given a full day medical leave because the doctor found out that I would be traveling the same day. And so she was kind of like upset because the minor procedure that I did do um, does involve a little bit of bleeding. And so she did not want to stress me out and she just gave me um, a full day off instead of the typical time slip that I always request. And so... I was like, okay, I am at the train station, what am I going to do? So I decided to just put my bags in a locker and that was a little bit expensive but I did not want to walk around with um, my carry bag and also um, my heavy items in my backpack and so that cost me for half a day 30, actually it's a full day 30 ringgit but because I was going to be there only for a few hours so I did pay 30 ringgit for that um, then I finally had my first meal of the day which was at McDonald's I did not have time to have breakfast on that day and so I spent 20 ringgit at McDonald's for my lunch and my breakfast and then I decided to survey some work clothes at H&M so on Sunday, when I had my lunch with my ex-colleague, um, I did a little bit of survey in the shopping mall there. And um, I kind of like broke down what I needed for my work trip in October. So if some of you are new to this channel and this is your first video watching me, I work from home and I've been working from home for the past I think almost three years and so um, even if I do go to the office I wear kind of like semi casual attire and most of the clothes that I have that is kind of like work appropriate are thick so I don't do well with um, office aircon so I'm always like wearing a jacket or a blazer and um, I mix that up with other pieces that I have but I'm also usually in my sneakers or my trainers okay so I have quite a few of trainers what I also have are high heels but they're not work appropriate they are more to events or parties and stuff like that so I actually did not have a proper work shoe so on Sunday I broke it down and I realized that the simple pieces that I needed for my trip in October um, would be simple flats, leggings, probably a white shirt like an oversized white shirt um, and it's nice to have those items because they are also lightweight I can put them in my carry bag and basically you know just live off that for the next couple of days that I'm there so i decided that those were what i needed now another thing is um i usually put on weight and then i lose weight and then i put on weight and then i lose weight so most of the stuff that i do buy are like oversized oversized jackets oversized blazers oversized <laughs> blouses or shirts um and um, depending on you know like what I wear them with the types of pants that I wear them with um, you know it just basically can change the outlook of your outfit so I decided to go with um, a few shirts but I have not bought those yet and as I was looking at some of the stores I don't want to spend a lot okay I mean I didn't want to spend more than I actually brought with me on the trip and so the only store that I thought was reasonable enough to spend in was H&M and so that's what I did so when I was in the train station there is also a shopping mall that's beside it and I headed over there after I put my bags in and after I had my lunch I headed over to the shopping mall and I was lucky that they did have H&M over there so um, what I bought in H&M were four items and those items were a pair of loafers so I'm gonna insert pictures 
um, of the items that I bought and I'm also going to insert pictures of how I usually wear when I go to the office or I go to work so they're pretty much in between casual work attire um, but this time around because they're very much customer focused so we are going to be visiting customers in October in the city and also in Singapore so I knew that I had to find um, appropriate clothing for that so I will put in some pictures of what I usually wear and then I'm going to show you the items that I did buy from H&M. So the first one are a pair of loafers. So I was pretty lucky with this one um, because I thought that I was not able to find my size. Luckily in this shopping mall um, I found the exact pair that I wanted and I, there were only two left in my size. So I went online first to see whether it would make sense to order them online. And then obviously if you order online, you have to pay for delivery. And I didn't want to do that as well. And so I decided, okay, fine. I am just going to get those pair of shoes. So those shoes cost 129 ringgit and 95 cents. Okay. And a pair of black leggings costs 34 ringgit and 95 cents so very basic black leggings um i will try to insert the picture if i can find it or if not something very similar but i i'm guessing you guys know what a pair of basic black leggings look like okay so i actually paid for these first because i didn't want to go and check out the other stores um but i got 10 percent off from these two items because the cashier said that if I have like an online if I register online on their app or something like that I can get 10% off then I was walking around I couldn't find anything went back into H&M and I found two bodysuits and the reason why I like wearing bodysuits is because I can wear them with pants um, and so I thought like if I were to have like a casual night out with the team, you know, like for a dinner, um, not necessarily like visiting customers, I can wear these. So why I specifically bought these ones were because I finally found ones that were not v-neck or showing my chest. So they were um, rounded neck. And also what I love about them is that they are long sleeve and this particular design is so hard to find and the only other place that I can find them if I ever do is in Zara which is super overly priced I think they're like over a hundred bucks for them 120 or something and I didn't want to spend that money over there and so the first one that I got were let's see Okay, so the first one that I got was the skin tone color one, which is 44 ringgit 95 cents, and the black one that has a turtleneck for 39 ringgit and 95 cents. So the total that I spent at H&M is 233 ringgit and 50 cents. So I'm going to put that here. If you really think about it, 233 ringgit 200 <laughs> and 23 ringgit and 50 cents is actually I wrote that wrong guys sorry 233 ringgit and 50 cents is actually not bad for four items including shoes because we all know that shoes can also be a very expensive cost so getting 10% off those first two items really helped so 23350 at H&M. Next up, I decided to get some snacks and I have not been to Marks & Spencer's in years, in such a long time. So I decided to buy some of my favorite dark chocolate biscuits, um, some icing, ice sugar biscuits, and a drink. And it's a little bit expensive, but it was just a treat for myself. And I spent 29 ringgit and 35 cents at Marks and Spencer's and then after that everything was done I was too exhausted to do anything else I just went 
and headed over to the locker, took out my bags, and then walked over to the platform for the train and waited there. And then the only other expense that I made after that was a grab back to my home, and that cost 10 ringgit. So this is what I spent over the weekend. Um, and basically, let me just calm down and have some coffee. By the way, if you realize in my videos, I have been huffing and puffing when I talk and I don't have asthma. It's actually because I have put on so much weight when I came back to my hometown. I was super surprised when I weighed myself. Um, I'm not a person that likes weighing. I think that as long as I, you know, I'm able to carry on with my life, I'm fine. But this time around, when I, when they had to take my weight, <laughs> guys, I have to lose 10 kg. I actually put on 10 kg, which is so not great. And this is the reason why I am huffing and puffing when I do these videos. Um, I sound a little bit exhausted, you know, which is not good. So um, I'm going to start to cut down on food <laughs> on, on my food so yeah all right so let's now calculate how much did I spend all together so on the 16th we have grab an MRT so 10 plus 3 plus on the 17th we have another grab plus lunch plus another grab and then on the 18th which is obviously the most that I spent on, we have MRT, and then we have my hospital check, and then we have um, a grab again, and then we have Dr. Locker, we had McDonald's, and then we spent money on four clothes and snacks and then grab okay yes so overall i did go over budget um but i spent a total of four four nine three five four four nine three five so four four nine Three, five. Okay, so 50 ringgit over budget or over what I did budget um, for the weekend. But the fact that I got a few pieces anyway instead of waiting for the next month because, okay, I, I need to do a little bit of explaining here. In my hometown, we don't even have a proper shopping mall, right? So we don't have these brands in my hometown if i want to do any type of shopping i will have to travel to the next state and shop from there and i'm not planning to go there anytime soon oh yes guys so another point i wanted to add is i'm actually a little bit taller than the usual asian size so i'm about 165 to 166 in height and um i normally do have to try on clothes before i buy them so my trip is actually going to be on the 8th and 9th 8th i think it's the 8th it's a sunday um of october and i'm only going to get paid on the 6th of october so you know i would not have enough time to be able to prepare um to buy what is necessary for the trip so this is the reason why I decided that it made sense that I was there, that I was going to um, spend money during this time and just utilize what I had. So yeah, guys, so that's 449 ringgit and 35 cent for the weekend and also for work clothes, uh, which took up half of that amount. So that's okay. All right.
So, moving on to my next topic is my challenge binder. So, as you have seen, I do have my monthly challenge binder, and I actually kind of accidentally no, I wouldn't say accidentally, I kind of created it after I received my cricket. So back in March to April, when I first came back to my hometown, I did purchase a Cricut. And you're probably wondering why the hell would you purchase a Cricut when you're supposed to be budget budgeting. I don't have an excuse, except that I was going over a really hard time. Um, I was not happy in my job. I was so stressed and depressed that you know even my friends were telling me that I should see a therapist but the one thing or the two or the very few things that um, calm me down and take me out of my rut was being creative and also football <laughs> so I was in my football swing like this whole year like especially after the world cup ended i was like focusing on football so much guys like i think most of my friends were just surprised but it really did give me an opportunity to just forget about the stress that i had and then i decided to get a cricket so that i could start um being creative again and i love being creative i love creating things i'm just not good at drawing or coloring but in regards to you know like other things i can sew um i can make clothes i i'm good at fixing things um around the house which you know sometimes it's weird but being an only child i think i have definitely picked up you know like those skills and so creating things is one thing that I love doing. And so um, I have my Cricut and I had also, you know, like just um, ordered some other bits that I would use, you know, um, for my creations. <laughs> and so the first, one of the first projects that I did was um, to create, you know, like cash envelopes. And so I wanted to do like a monthly challenge i just didn't know exactly when it like how it would look but what i really like i like polka dots i don't know why i like polka dots i just i like polka dots i like um what do you call this i forgot what these are called i love these this design i have another one at the back like this okay i like polka dots so the fact that my happy planner here, this um, classic, I don't know what they call this, half thingy, um, it's also like a polka dot design. I don't know, I like polka dots. And so I decided to just um, cricket out some uh, polka dots. Obviously, if you don't have a cricket, you can even use like those round stickers, I guess. Um, and I created these envelopes. Okay, that had the month leaves on them all right so this was how it came out so it was a proper cash envelope but then I started making mistakes so I was cutting them wonkily I was even hole punching them wrongly so I have a proper hole puncher but I wasn't putting it in the right um, uh, measurement so you know like they were totally out and then I was just so disappointed about the whole thing but I still didn't want to throw them out I, I still kept those envelopes okay and then at the same time while I was making this I went on to my um, Canva and I started to design these monthly kind of like a challenges okay and so I printed these out this these were all tests guys like I was just testing and so I also bought the wrong type of like glossy paper um, but I was like it's okay like I'm just gonna print them out and then just use whatever I have I don't I hate wasting so I did that and um, my printer that I use it's not you know like it's not those professional ones it's a very basic basic 
printer like this is the most basic printer that I have but the good thing about it was that it's wireless and so I also did not want to spend so much on you know those um, better printers um, and so basically that's what I did so then what happened was I found these envelopes online and I really like the fact I think everyone is doing this now where they just buy these like plastic envelopes and these one have tabs um i actually bought two styles i bought this one alongside these white ones okay i really love these white ones but i haven't really done anything um on them yet but when these ones came i really liked the quality but i just felt like oh my god they're so dull like look at that they're so dull guys so dull right and so i decided to take the cash envelopes that i created and basically cut it out and use it to decorate these envelopes and I realized that you could all do the same thing and you can all redesign these envelopes and change it out and switch it up whenever you want to. So I'm super proud that I actually could, I mean, like thought of it, even though it's the most simplest things, but sometimes, you know, and I was so happy with this. So I started to just print these out on the glossy paper that I had and I just felt like they look so cute. And I bought two sets of six because these come in sixes. And so I bought two sets to make it a whole um, year of challenges. And so, yeah, so that's what I did. And so I wanted to just share with you guys that. And also, I will be sharing a link with you guys um, soon, but probably in October where you are able to download for free my 12 month challenge so um does that sound good to you guys um i will be giving a link for you to just click on and then you can basically print this on whatever size you want you can make it like how i do it like a bookmark style um or you can make it in to a bigger book maybe like a classic happy planner size i don't know like these half ones that i have or hold on a minute where is my other book uh yeah sorry this one you can make it into here or i don't know maybe you want to make it a full page it's up to you guys but i'll be sharing a link so that you guys can download this so i'm just gonna go through the um design so basically this is january so in january for each icon it is 20 ringgit and then you know what let me take them all out so that i can save time Okay, so this is better. So January has 20 ringgit for each icon. February has 30. Don't mind the smudges because, you know, I kind of like smudged them when they came out and didn't wait for them to dry. Um, February has 30 ringgit. It's also, uh, the design is more to Valentine's Day. So the design is also more to Valentine's Day. And then we have March. March, I went for kind of like a game night theme. So that's 10 for each icon. Okay, so my highest one is April. <laughs> and I don't know. I wasn't thinking when I was doing this, guys. I was just having fun creating. And I went for teddy bears. Um, and so each icon is 150. So you have your super like small dominations, like five. And then you have the highest is 150. And then I have May. So May is a 15 ringgit. I have June. June is lovely. I love the rainbow icons. So for June, each icon is 25. 
and then for July I put in cats and each icon is 50 so my second highest is um, 100 for each icon I went with sports so this is for August September there is another one that is 10 so I went with fruits for this one and then we have October so October obviously I went for Halloween theme so each icon is a 20 and then November for autumn I went with the autumn icons and um, 25 ringgit or $25 for each icon and then lastly is December and I put 40 for each icon and I use the winter theme so if you guys are interested these are gonna be free anyway um, I am going to be sharing a link sometime in October for you to do I might even consider putting two versions of these so one would be the 12 month which is this one and then another one will be a simplified one so you can name these challenges however you want whether you want it to remain as the monthly challenge and then you can also change the denominations which are at the bottom so it's basically up to you guys so I'm going to do that and then if you guys also want to know so as you can see they're not well some of them are pretty low right but because of the amount of icons that I have for each challenge and also um, the high domination ones I also just found out that the total for this <laughs> is 4245 if i were to look at this i wouldn't even think they would up, add up so i'm super surprised so if you guys want to do this then go ahead if you guys want to just print them out and then edit them um i don't know on your canva or something like that and then put in different types of uh, dominations to make it easier or to make it harder you know you can go ahead and do that too okay guys so that's it for this video um i don't want to make it any more longer than necessary i hope you guys are just enjoying your weekend and um, it's sunday already for me so tomorrow is you know back to work as usual but if you did like this video kindly please do hit the like subscribe and leave any comments and questions below and i will see you guys in the next one bye